Hi, this is Jim Ritchie. I'm CEO and co-founder of Aon RV. We're a RV startup here in Reno, Nevada, building what we think is one of the most high-tech RVs. We call it an all-season, all-electric cab, off-road and off-grid, new and high-tech RV. Let me show you around. The platform we build on is the Ford Transit. We get an all-wheel drive from Ford. It's the cutaway chassis, one ton, or as they call it, a 350. The part that we get from Ford is actually just this front part with rails. And the first thing we do when we get it from Ford is we do a number of suspension modifications. And we'll be pointing those out as long as we go. The first thing you'll notice is beefier tires. These are BF Goodrich KO2 tires. They're a, a bigger tire that comes stock. But we actually re-rate the vehicle because we're a final stage RV manufacturer. So these are actually fully legal to use on this vehicle. When we spec the transit chassis from Ford, we, we really get it with all the uh, latest, not only security, but safety features. And we add some security features as well. So we add uh, actually an aftermarket remote start and uh, extra security system. But you'll see when we scope this out, this has leather seats. It's got power seats, they're heated seats. You'll see it's got the SYNC 4 radio system with the 12 inch screen. It has all the latest in terms of intelligent uh, adaptive cruise control. Um, we, we have blind spot monitoring, front and rear parking sensors, really all the latest and greatest features from Ford in terms of the electronics that you can get from Ford. Optionally, we also offer a number of other electronic components such as uh, camera systems. This one has a front and rear camera. The Ford has a built-in uh, camera system for just backup, but this one actually, we add a secondary camera that's a dash cam front and rear that you can look, have a rear view all the time while you're driving if you want. We spec these with high intensity lights from Ford, including the black surround. We like the black surround and the blacked out grill. So we kind of have a a look that's really uh, all blacked out. We like that look. In addition, this has an optional, what are called ditch lights. So this is an option you can add and that gives you some extra running lights. It does come standard with the Ford fog lights. And you'll see it also has the heated uh, long arm mirrors, which you really like. One of the things I mentioned we add, we add the remote start. So we can turn the vehicle on remotely. And you'll see, I wanted to point out, this is an extra light that we put on the back. It's a 30,000 lumen light bar that comes standard. And you'll see how very bright that is, but that's really necessary if you're backing up uh, off-road or and off-grid at night. You can really see where you're going. A couple other things I'd like to point out in here, in terms of customizations that we do. We add in these two switches here. This is the optional switch to turn on those ditch lights. Um, these come standard. Uh, this is the uh, switch to turn off that light in the back. And this switch here is integrated into our charging system from the alternator. So you can monitor your battery state of charge while you're driving and you want to get 1600 watts of juice into your batteries, you can just hit this switch and that will charge off the alternator using our alternating charging system. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Some other things on the outside I'd like to point out. This is an optional storage box. Uh, we, a lot of customers like this because it's a place that you can store dirty tools or chains or firewood or a barbecue system. One customer even carries his golf clubs in here. But the nice thing about this is it drops down. It has quite a bit of storage in there, uh, but it's outside the vehicle. And it's a very rugged system, lockable. On this side of the vehicle, a couple other things I'd like to point out. Uh, we do have shore power charging up to 30 amps with a plug and cord that we provide. Um, obviously the NRV is designed to go off grid, so we don't use this very much except when we're back home, but you can get a quick charge, charge up your batteries. And here you'll see this is the exhaust for the S-Bar heater. We have an S-Bar gas heater. We have two ways to heat the vehicle. One is with the mini split. That will operate, it's because it's a heat pump, it'll operate down to minus 13 Fahrenheit. And then you can also use the S-Bar 
heater, which is a ducted heating system, uh, blows hot air around into various places in the vehicle. That will work down to minus 50 Fahrenheit, and it pulls the fuel right out of the gas tank, so you don't have to carry separate diesel or propane tanks or anything like that. The NRV is really all electric with this exception of this backup system for heating. Here's your uh, water fill. So this is how you actually put water in the vehicle. Uh, it's locking with the same lock that we use for the main doors and the uh, storage doors. And you, we give you the, uh, a hose and a little uh, plug that you put in here to fill this, very easy to do. Uh, this goes right into our 59 gallons of fresh water tanks that we have. So plenty of water to go off grid. And uh, these doors are an insulated door. It's a powder coated aluminum door. You notice something about these, uh, the way it closes here. Uh, these doors actually have triple seals on them. And when you actually close, this will compress those seals so you get a nice airtight seal. And then there's a clip here very strong so you can just clip it in like that. Let's look into the gear garage since we're on this side. Uh, this is one of the major features that we really went around to design in the ANRV. So you could put your bikes, skis, or other really fun toys that you don't want to have carrying outside. We give you this 30 amp uh, power cord here with a special connector and then a standard connector on this side with a dog bone so you can plug it into any uh, standard uh, outlet that you'd like. Uh, if you look in here, um, we have lights here, but you can see the tanks. Um, they're balanced tanks, so it's a 40 gallon and a 19 gallon tank, and they're connected virtually as one tank. We have a tank monitor to monitor the levels. Uh, you see here, these are actually uh, the ducted air, and this is the conduit line for all the wiring running from that side of the vehicle to this side is all contained within this one conduit. You'll also see in the gear garage, you have 120 volt power as well as 12 volt, so you can power various things. And this is our boot drying area. So this is one of the places you have the ducted air right here, and you can uh, warm up your ski boots or whatever you'd like. Um, this is just an optional drain for the, the fresh, water, fresh water system. You can also just drain it by using the pump, which is what we recommend. And in addition, we put this L-Track in here, and so you can actually tie down things. This is designed, you can even put a, an extra shelf across this L-Track because they're at the same level, and we give you a number of L-Track connectors. This customer also has the optional moonshade. That's our awning system. Here, you'll see we have our custom bumper. This is an aluminum bumper that's tied into our custom steel hitch rack with uh, recovery points here. So if you get uh, you know, off-road, someone can actually put a shackle on here. You can pull yourself out. This is all custom designed for us. Your license plate goes here. You got your seven pin tow hitch that comes standard. And you'll see we've actually integrated into this custom bumper, the Ford uh, backup sensors here, the parking sensors. And on the side here, we have the blind spot monitoring sensors. Those are integrated in to this bumper. And the other thing we're very proud of is the general departure angle, breakover angle, and approach angle. They're all about 20%. You can see pretty good ground clearance. And down here, you do have a full-size uh, spare that we provide, uh, the KO, same KO2 tire in case you ever get a flat. And that comes down on a cable with a little winch that's right here, very easy to get down. You just winch it down and then you slide it out. On this side of the, the uh, gear garage, you'll see a little bit more about our water system. We're very proud of how we design our water system. Uh, as I mentioned, it's 59 gallons of fresh water, but you can actually put an extra eight gallons of fresh water in the hot water tank. So you could drive away with as much as 67 gallons of fresh water. And we provide a very nice water filtration system, uh, comes standard, and that filters the water after it's stored in the tank. Uh, there's valves here that you can bypass it if you don't want to filter the water. We always just filter the water, or the valves are useful if you're going to 
replace the filter, clean out the system, whatever you want to do, or even uh, you know just take all the water out of the system if you wanted to. And you're going to store it long term. You also notice the tanks have cleanouts on the top, makes it easy to access. And if you ever want to get in there and scrub the tanks out, which we recommend to do, you know, once a year or so. Um, you'll see this is where the main bed is. It's a full queen bed, but these bed panels are actually designed to come out. Uh, you can actually fit them out this door if you wanted to, uh, for some reason to get in there and do a more thorough cleaning. Everything is designed to be very accessible and easy to get to. One of the things I mentioned is when we first get the Ford chassis, we do a bunch of suspension modifications. Here you can see them a little better. We add in an extra leaf spring pack that gives you much more comfortable ride. It's kind of a game changer in the ride and it's coupled with the custom Falcon shock. You can see on this side that we get from Van Compass. That shock is tuned for the weight of our vehicle and it really changes the off-road and on-road driving characteristics of the vehicle. Once again, it is kind of a game changer or it makes just a big, big difference in the driving characteristics. You'll also notice on the tires here, these are Standard Ford wheels, the steel wheels, which you like for ruggedness, but we don't like them when they come silver. So we actually take them off, chemically strip all the paint off that comes from Ford, and then we powder coat them black to make them, in our opinion, look nicer. And you'll see here, this is our custom stainless steel wheel well. It's been uh, painted in a bed liner in an undercoating here. But that pr that's a really strong back um, wheel well liner. It allows you to put uh, chains on in the back and coupled with this heavy dewy uh, mud flap here. Another feature that we really enjoy is this outdoor table. So this is an option. It's not a requirement, but we use it a lot. We like to cook outside. Uh, our induction cooktop plugs in just inside the kitchen here and it's designed so you can just plop it down on this table right here, which I will open up with some keys. It drops down. It's actually a powder coated black aluminum table uh, or you can get white if you get a white vehicle. And we use this for outdoor cooking as well as setting up snacks or a bar or whatever. Very handy to have this here by the door. And it couples with our awning system that you can see the mounting points up here. Um, we put the awning up and it's just a nice place to hang out here with this table. Very easy to use um, and it locks away when you're off driving. Another thing I'd like to point out on this side of the vehicle is the access panel or access door for the standard toilet that comes with the ANRV. It's very easy to access this, so when you want to take away your uh, toilet uh, water, you just pull this tank out here and you can dump it into any toilet at home or when you're on the road. It's a locking door. We also offer optionally a urine separating toilet if you don't want to deal with the cassette toilet. And that, um, we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. A couple more things I want to point out here. All the water on the ANRV, because it's designed as an all-season RV, all the fresh water is stored inside. The only water that's outside is the gray tank. And the gray tank is insulated and heated two ways, so it'll never freeze. Uh, it's passively heated by engine coolant lines, which run along the tank and then up into our marine-style hot water heater. And it also has a uh, pad, a tank heating pad on there that you can turn on and it's uh, regulated with thermostat to come on when it's getting cold. And even if it was to freeze, the tank is designed for that, not that it would ever would freeze. The gray tank is also insulated with foam insulation here. And then when you're ready to dump the tank, there's just a standard ball valve here, or there's an actuated ball valve here, which you can turn on with a switch by the kitchen hook up a hose to it if you just want to dump your gray water over into the desert or something like that, if that's allowed. We also add to the standard Ford these running boards. Makes it easy to get in and out and gives it kind of a nice rugged look. Now let's step inside the ANRV. First thing we need to do is take down the stairs. We have mechanical stairs. We really like these stairs because they're rugged. They're very easy to use. You just drop them down like this. And the other nice thing about them is they have supports here so when you're walking into the vehicle it's very sturdy. These are adjustable if you have different ground. You'll also see these glow-in-the-dark stickers here that shine at night so you can see the steps when you come out. This door here is a very heavy-duty insulated door. Um, little storage here. You see it has dual clasps on both sides. We provide a nice handle here so it's easy to get in and out of. 
The door also has a built-in shade and it's very easy to lock and unlock from the inside. You just push that to lock it and when you're ready to unlock it, you go here. One other feature on the outside we have is we have a built-in porch light here that's dimmable. So you don't have to go inside to turn that off or on. Very easy to access right here. And let me turn that off. The door actually goes into clips here to keep it from moving, very strong. Other thing I wanna point out and you'll notice is our bathroom is right inside the door. Why is that? Well, generally bathrooms are a lot of wasted space in a lot of RV designs and you're not always using the bathroom. So it made sense for us to put the bathroom right in the uh, doorway. Um, you'll notice there's actually a bug screen integrated in here. And then you'll see here is the shower pan for the shower. So this is the door for the shower. So when you're coming in, very easy to use the bathroom. So let's step on in. Oh, before doing that, I wanted to show you one other thing that we really like. The shower comes off on a wand here. And why does that happen? Well, a couple reasons. One, it allows you to wash your feet off, wash off a dog, a child, or even your bikes before you storm away in the back. Or you can even take an outdoor shower. You can take the bamboo shower pan out, put it on the ground, and just get a little suction cup for here. And we take outdoor showers, very, very fun to do. So let's step through the bathroom here. So talking a little bit more about the uh, shower here, you can see, I'll turn the uh, light on. You can see on this side, the rest of the bathroom. You've got your toilet. This actually swivels, get it out of the way. It's got a you know, water system here for flushing. This is our uh, sink. It's a fold down sink with water. So two sinks. And then over here you have your storage for all your toiletries. There's even power here if you need to run a hairdryer or whatever. And you see a nice bright light here. And then when you're ready to shower, you can actually drop the shower curtain down and this will cover up the toilet and the sink as well as the door on this side. So you don't get water on that makes it very easy to clean up and you just shut your self-cleaning shower door and take a shower. The other nice thing about this is that you can actually use this shower curtain like this if you have guests coming over and you don't want them to see the rest of the toilet. You can just come over. You'll notice here this bar here. This bar can come off if you're a real tall person. I'm six foot. It almost hits my head. And then when you're done with the shower curtain, it's designed to just go up on this hook here and store out of the way like that. So tucks nicely out of the way. It's also designed as a gear drying room. There's ducted heat over here from the S bar heater. And that allows us to bring hot air into here. And you can close the door, close the shower door and pull across this uh, hanger here, which very easily pulls out and slides across and you can hang things on that. And then if you have the heat going on, it'll dry out your gear and all the hot, moist air you can have sucked out by the max fan here. See the max fan has a light on it as well. But that you can turn that to suck out and take all your the kind of hot, moist air out. You'll see to the right is our pass through into the cab. And that's how you can get it into the vehicle uh, when you want to drive away without having to go outside. One of the unique features we have is a sliding locking door. It's an insulated door and it really provides a nice thermal barrier between the outside uh, of the cab where it gets hot and the inside of your vehicle. It also has a lock here so you can provides extra security. Here you have your fridge freezer. We wanted to have a nice big uh, fridge so you'll see that here. Um, separate, it's a 24 volt compressor style fridge with a separate freezer. And then more storage for your cooking of pots, pans, things like that. One of the things about the ANRV is there's just lots and lots of storage. You'll see there's a big storage cabinet here for pots and pans. And then down here, this is a little feature we designed. We like to travel with our dog. And this little feature here allows you to store your dog bowls, 
or whatever you want. You can make cutouts in these and then just pull it out when you're using it and slide it away when you're not using it. Or you can use it for whatever you want. You'll see here there's various hooks. You can put more of these on the vehicle for uh, hanging coats or storing backpacks, things like that. Um, coming from the, sh the uh, refrigerator side, you have your dinette now. And you'll see there's lots of storage above the dinette. You'll notice this pink light. That isn't a requirement, but it's a little fun light we have. And you can do all kinds of nice things with the lights. Um, I'm going to just turn them off for right now. The main lighting we have in here, it's all LED lighting. You'll see your main task lighting on this side, and it's all dimmable. All the lighting is dimmable. So the dinettes here, uh, this is designed for two large adults, or you could even have four, two adults and two kids. It has multiple functions. Obviously, it's a dinette table where you can sit down and eat. It's also uh, a front-facing fully seat belt seat here with three point seat belts that are tied into an aluminum frame that's bolted into the steel on the floor. That's very important so you can take two kids safely or one larger adult. Um, it's a 32 inch bench seat. This also, when you're not using it as a dinette, folds down into an extra bed. And the bed can be made up in two ways. It's a bed that can be this wide here, or it can even, using these flip outs, go into a bed that's this wide. And this is also a nice feature having the flip outs at like this so at the end of the night you can sit put a pillow like this sit back against the wall and put your feet up we do that pretty much every night it's really kind of creates a nice lounging spot this this is the lagoon table you can uh when you make the bed it sits down here and allows you to put the cushions across it also can be mounted over here so you can do a stand-up desk or extra prep area when you're cooking one other thing you'll notice on the storage here is this compartment is designed for your networking gear, Starlink, Wi-Fi, and we actually provide a gland to the roof so you can run your own cable. This particular customer, we've pre-installed antenna boost system, the Wii Boost, um, and so that's already set up for the customer. You'll see there's also 12 volt power here and 120 volt power. And we have under the table 120 and uh, power as well and USB connectors. Those switches down below are the two main switches you use to control the electrical system. The one on the left, the larger one, is the battery main battery disconnect switch. And the other one is a selector switch. It's 120 volt to select where do you want to charge from, either shore power or off the alternator system. For the main control systems of the ANRV, you have the Serbo GX here, which allows you to monitor all the systems, your battery, your state of water, temperatures, all of that. And it's all accessible by uh, apps as well from your phone. And here's the control system to turn on the S-Bar gas air heater, which is the ducting uh, heating system. So very easy to access. And you, as I said, you can get everything on the Serbo GX on your phone or iPad as well. The ANRV has a very uh, accessible kitchen design here. You'll see there's a nice deep sink with a uh, pull out here, you've got a soap uh, supplier here, easy to turn on the water, um, very easy to wash. And when you're not using it, we provide this cutting board that fits in there. Uh, two people can very easily be prepping here. And you notice how wide the aisle is here. It's very easy for two people to pass on the aisle. That was another design feature we, we wanted to have. And when you're ready to cook, we use all electric cooking. So we have an induction cooktop that's stored down here. You can just place that up here, plug it in and start cooking. Very easy to do. And you'll notice also all the storage here. You have a sponge storage, storage for all your silverware, plates, just storage for days in the kitchen. Over here, let me mention about these switches real quick. Here's your water pump switch to turn the water pump on. Here is uh, the gray water dump. I mentioned the actuated ball valve. If you want to dump the gray tank from that valve, you can just turn that on. And then finally, our hot water heater system is unique in the RV space. It's actually a marine style hot water heater that's down here. It's an eight gallon tank in a stainless steel uh, vessel that is insulated inside an insulated box. And we heat that using the uh, coolant lines off the engine. 
and uh, that provides hot water for two to three days with really no extra energy. If you do want to have a backup system to heat it if you're not driving or idling the vehicle every two or three days, you can heat that tank by turning on this switch with a 750 watt electrical element. One other nice feature that we find here is when you're cooking is we like to bring lots of food is we have a slide out locking pantry. So this pantry while you're cooking you have all your food here it's very accessible very easy to get to and locks in and out and then when you need to get rid of your food waste we provide this nice uh, recycled garbage bin here just put your food in there very easy to do more storage with an optional microwave if you'd like that that's an option one of the unique things about the anrv is how it's constructed it's constructed out of fiberglass reinforced insulated panels these panels are anywhere from an r15 to an r23 uh, in insulation value and you can see they also are nicely covered in a in a gel coated fiberglass so inside looks more like a boat than a typical rv uh, coupled with our highly insulated rv are these dual pane insulated windows uh, these windows are awning style windows and you can just simply open these up. The nice thing about them is you can have them open in different positions. So you can have them open when it's raining. And then when you want to close it, you just push it all the way up and close it like this. Now, there's another nice little unique feature here is you can actually lock these windows in this position, which still provides airflow. So if you wanted to leave an animal inside, uh, it's not that hot out, or you wanted to just have constant airflow while you're away from the vehicle or while you're in the vehicle you can lock it in this position you'll still get airflow and then you want to fully lock it you just pull it over to this next position and now the windows are fully locked the windows have integrated bug screens in them as well as integrated integrated blackout shades so that makes it very easy and these blackout shades actually have an aluminum uh, backing on the outside so it helps uh, keep out the hot uh, sun. These two large drawers here are for closed storage. And then we have hanging storage on this side. We have two hanging storage uh, uh, hangers here so you can bring along clothes or put over whatever you want in these closets. And then when you're ready to go to bed, it's very easy. You just pull out these drawers down here. They lock out into position and you have even more storage. We use this for dirty clothes or shoes. Locks out. You'll see here there's also a glow in the dark strip so you can see these at night and it makes it very easy to go into the bed. So I'm six foot tall and I have plenty of room to sit with my head up. That was another design feature that we wanted. And then when we're sleeping, you have this nice little curtain you can pull across like that. And then Finally, when you're coming back out, you'll see there's a handle here. Very easy to get out. It gives you a little extra capability at night. But we have a full queen bed here. You can see how roomy it is. Get back here. This is our skylight. It has a built-in light here. Uh, it also has built-in blackout shades and bug screens. It's a powered skylight. It's actually how we get egress to the roof as well. If you want to get up on the roof in the winter to clean off the uh, solar panels, or you need emergency act egress, this is how you do that. And then you have extra storage over here for books or little things. So plenty of storage for extra clothes, coats, blankets. This is a second window that's optional. And then it comes standard with this peek out window over here. You'll see when you're sleeping, it's a full queen bed and you've got reading lights here. Very nice for that. Little cubbies here to store your iPhone, your book, reading glasses. And you'll notice there's USB chargers here and here. And then there's USB chargers uh, right over there as well. While you're in bed, you also have remote controls to control the mini split. This is our main heating and cooling. This is really something that we're, we find super useful because the air conditioner is about twice as efficient as a traditional roof top RV uh, uh, air conditioner and it's super quiet it runs it down to 26 decibels and it even has sleep mode and uh, an extra quiet mode where whisper quiet where you basically can't hear it at all and of course you also have a remote control for the max fan over there if you want to just turn on the fan and not use the air conditioning 
Now I'd like to show you our electrical system. It's stored under here on the uh, rear-facing dinette seat. Uh, this is one of the flip-outs that I mentioned that you can actually attach like this with legs so you can actually sit on those. And these slats slide across like this. But let's actually see what's in the electrical system here. The first thing I'd like to point out is we use primarily Victron Energy equipment. So we have our main 3000 VA inverter here. Uh, that's a 24 volt charger inverter. Um, here we have our secondary inverter. We use this to actually charge the batteries off the alternator. And then here is our main fuse panel. You have both a 12 volt fuse side as well as your 120 switches here, breaker switches. And anytime if a fuse blew, they're all labeled of course, if a fuse was to blow, you'd get an LED indication that you needed to replace that fuse. Here you see the Battleborn batteries. This particular model has eight 24 volt Battleborn batteries. You can get up to 10 or as uh, come standard with six. Uh, you'll see our shore power charging is coming in here. And then the Serbo GX, which is the main brains is here. That's a 24 volt bus bar. And then we have our solar controller down here. And this here is our solar disconnect switch, which you can actually disconnect the solar system um, the reason you'd only want to do that is if you were working on it or you really wanted to make sure there was absolutely no power coming into the system from anywhere. And then finally, because this is a 24 volt electrical system, which we do for higher efficiency reasons and smaller wiring sizes, we do step down. We only run natively two devices off 24 volts. One is the refrigerator and the second is the water pump. Everything else runs off true 12 volt power and we use a 24 volt to 12 volt step down here. And you can actually turn that off with this switch. You'll see the lights go off. Um, this, this here is an optional battery heater. Um, that battery heater heats the batteries. They're self-heating, um, self-heated Battleborn batteries. So if you're worried about uh, you know, being in very cold temperatures, that's a nice feature. And finally, here's the switch to turn on the tank heater. You can just turn it on and leave it on during cold conditions and it's self-regulating with its own thermostat. Because all of our electrical gear is stored in this one box, we do give a lot of room for airflow, but this can get very warm with two inverters and fans running. So in addition, we have these two additional fans here. You can uh, thermostatically control these through the Serbo GX to have them come on and off at whatever temperature you want. But we found this to be a really nice uh, add-on so we can keep this electrical box at a reasonable temperature. This is Jim Ritchie, CEO and co-founder of Aon RV. Thanks for watching our walkthrough video. Reach out to us at aonrv.com if you have any questions and safe travels.